it's time. Today we are taking a look at the Zig Cartoonist Black Ink 60 Curtic East 1902 Manga Ink. Now this inkwell holds the distinction of being the most expensive inkwell I have purchased, standing at a whopping $12.99 on Amazon. Now this is an ink predominantly used in manga and it also is a water-based pigment, so it claims to be smudge proof with alcohol-based markers. So I'm actually really excited to take a look at that feature. You can see I left it right here in the actual packaging because I want to show you guys that I haven't used it yet. I've been wanting to use this one for quite a bit and I finally got the chance to film it so I'm super super excited. It's also a really interesting like shape to it. It's not your standard inkwell. It's not even a standard square. I just kind of like the shape of this. It has just a big top instead of your traditional eyedropper and on top of that it's quite hefty being at 2.2 ounces so you get quite a bit of ink. Now most inks tend to be one fluid ounce for about nine dollars. It tends to be like the higher up ink cost. So for example this is a one fluid ounce that retails for about $9.99. So you could see you get almost double the amount of ink for just a little bit of a price increase. So I'm really curious to put this to the test and see what it's like. This is a review I've been really excited to do and let's just break into it with the Batman sketchbook. Very nice. Look at that line work. Ah, oh, that is so, it's still going too. Very nice. I like that a lot. Now, I did notice towards the end, we're getting a little bit of gray. Look at that. That is solid black. That's awesome. Now, one thing I also noticed is that on the cap, it has these two grooves here. I thought it was weird, and then I realized it's to actually rest your pen. So you can actually put your pen there, and it will rest. Obviously, if you're not on a slant, like my book's on a slant. But that is such a nice little detail that they didn't have to do. That is so cool. Now with our normal dip pen, we got a great line. I want to use our quill pen. Very nice. Very, very nice. I like that a lot. Ah, oh, that looks so cool. Noticing our lines aren't super consistent with the quill nib, but I use these for short cross hatching, so I'm not too, too worried about that, but that's interesting. I don't know why that's the case. Very quick drawing samurai ink for manga drawing. Uh, it actually says it right here on the packaging. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a brush test super quick, and then after that, we're gonna do our marker test, and we'll start working on, on our illustration. So I'm actually really excited because this looks like a really really good ink and I have an illustration I've been saving for a bit that I really want to use. Oh that's nice. That is really nice and it's true black too. Very smooth. Not the smoothest ink I've used. Very very smooth ink. I love it. Very rich pigment too. That is absolutely amazing. Love that. I want to make real quick just like a circle and then we'll actually go with our alcohol marker and we'll test it with this just so you know we have on the outside and on the inside because I'm really curious. But I'm going to give it time to dry, do our illustration and then we'll color it in with alcohol markers depending on how our test goes. Alright guys, it's been about two hours and this ink has completely dried. Now, I fully acknowledge that that is way too much time. This stuff does dry very quickly, but I wanted to make sure that it had more than enough time to dry before we do our alcohol test. Now, remember, this ink claimed that it does not smudge or mix with alcohol-based markers. So, I have my go-to brand of alcohol markers, Prismacolor, and we're just going to use the chisel dip to color this area in and see if that claim is true. And yeah, it is. This stuff does not smudge at all with alcohol markers. This is awesome. I can't tell you guys how many times I've had inks smudge with alcohol markers. So this is really, really nice. No bleeding, nothing left over on the tip. So now we'll be able to actually color in our illustration with our alcohol markers. So that is super awesome. And now that we've done this test and we have confirmed that it is actually alcohol marker proof, let's go ahead and do that super time lapse. Making this piece was insanely enjoyable as the brush board took the ink amazingly. And on top of that, there were no problems using it with my non photo blue pencil. Always awesome and adds less stress to the piece. Even though the line art was enjoyable, there was a bit of a learning curve with actually doing the illustration with a nib. It was just some minor areas that I personally weren't used to and I had to adjust to it. But it was a quick adjustment and I could even go back and fix those lines that I messed up. I was also impressed by how quickly the ink actually dried. I felt like the entire time I really wasn't going to smudge in it anyway. So that was a really good bonus. So I still decided 
decided to give it about 10 minutes in between doing the actual outline and the line art just to make sure it had enough time before going in with shading techniques. The only area that I really do regret in this piece is the actual halo effect. I wish I could have gone in and tightened it up more, but that's okay. I'm still happy with how it came out. I was also glad that I taped off the edges as that made coloring it in and doing the line art for the border much easier. I didn't even have to break out a ruler, which was super nice. This ink isn't just enjoyable with a dip pen. It's insanely enjoyable with an actual brush. I went in with about three or four different brushes and enjoyed the entire process. Filling this thing in with my various brushes was so enjoyable. There were a few times I did have to go over the area a few times just because it didn't sit well or there's some white picking through, but I'm okay with that as normal inks do do that. And I have used high quality inks that still have that problem. Using a brush, I felt like I had pure control over the ink and that's very rare. I prefer shorter brushes and using a dip pen, but I really did enjoy filling this in with my brush. The amount of control I had with this ink was unlike anything else I've experienced before. I wanted to see how this ink would work watering it down for an ink wash and I have to say I was very impressed with it. I did my normal inking watering technique using inking syringes and after getting a mix that I liked I went in and started working. However I felt like it clashed with the halo so I decided to ink over it. But it is worth mentioning that that ink wash was very enjoyable, very nice, layered great and blended very well. I really enjoyed using an ink wash with this ink. I just wish that it fit the overall piece and I thought further ahead. But that solid black background still looks amazing and it was still again really fun to do with my brushes. I really enjoyed this entire process. After giving it time to dry I just focused on a few areas, touching it up with white ink and the actual ink itself to help make things more clean and presentable. After this I gave it 20 minutes to dry. I wanted to make sure this ink was fully dry before I went in with my alcohol markers and I started coloring. It was insanely enjoyable. I only had one area of bleeding and it was so minute it was easy to fix. I've actually had more bleeding problems using Micron and other fine liners than I have with this ink. Overall this inking experience was phenomenal and it was very satisfying removing the tape to see my finished work. I can't wait to do future projects with this ink. It really did blow me away with its quality and the amount of comfortability I had actually coloring was a game changer for me. And we're done. Guys, I absolutely love how this piece came out. Super comic booky, super awesome looking, and as always, it's available for my ArtStation account for a $1 digital download. It's that first link in the description down below where you can purchase any of the posters I've made for the channel, which we've made quite a lot, and it really does help the channel out. Now guys, this ink is a phenomenal ink that I personally cannot recommend enough. It is a joy to use. I think the main game changer of this ink is the fact that you can directly use alcohol markers with it. Seriously, many of my favorite inks or the inks that I've used over time, there's some ugly blending and just some discoloring to the actual ink that I really don't like. This entire piece was almost bleed proof except for one small area right here in the forearm, but it was so minor it was incredibly easy to fix. The rest of the piece did not do any bleeding at all. Well, I have to say that I thought $12.99 was a little pricey for an ink, but considering the fact that most inks at one fluid ounce or less tends to sell for $5.99 to about $9.99 or $8.99, I think that is very reasonable for two fluid ounces of such a high quality amazing ink. On my scale of 1 to 10, I proudly give this ink a 10. That's right. Now on my scale, 8 and 9 are reserved for inks or tools that I really enjoy using and wish to incorporate more into my artwork. However, 10 is strictly reserved for inks or art supplies or tools that have ascended to join the ranks of my favorite inks and art supplies, the kind that I use in almost every one of my artworks. And this ink proudly joins the ranks of my favorite inks alongside the Windsor & Newton Black India ink and the Daily Roni FW acrylic ink. These are my three favorite inks and I absolutely love each of them. They are amazing in their own unique way. I would love to make a piece of artwork with all three of them. Taking advantage of course of their strengths. Overall if you're a comic book artist, a manga artist, or an artist that enjoys the manga and comic book style using traditional comic book and manga technique, I implore you to give this a shot. This has earned a 10, something that I have very rarely given out. But that's my opinion and I'd love to hear your guys' opinions in the comic section down below. What do you think of the ink? Have you used it in the past? Do you like it? Do you hate it? On top of that, also let me know what you think of the artwork itself. What are some of the areas you enjoy and some areas you think that I could use to improve on? But with all that said, I'm J-Rod of Battle Productions. I draw the power in my own soul.